Hello, and welcome to another episode of King on Things. I'm your host, Robert, and as you might have noticed, I haven't posted a video in a couple of weeks. Um, I've been on vacation. I'm going to be replying to some of the comments and, and things that have come in on uh, some of the other videos. But right now, what I want to get into is the unboxing of what I'd like to call a less than lethal everyday carry. So without further ado, we're going to get into the unboxing of this Berna HD Less Than Lethal Self-Defense Air Gun. So let's go ahead and open this up. Got some manuals here. Warranty card. And for the record, I got this on a discount. There is a newer, um, the HD stands for Home Defense, I believe. There is a newer uh, Verna um, gun out there called a uh, SD, which is, goes for self-defense. Um, there's some differences, but uh, I'm not going to get into the comparisons right now. We're just going to um, take a look at this. It, it is kind of similar, but but there are uh, obviously some upgrades to the to the newer equipment. Okay, so this is really cool. This does look like a, a firearm, though. If you see this, you got to be careful. Um, you know. It, 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 as far as representing this as a firearm, that that could I guess be an issue, um, but wow, it, it has some some weight to it. Um, really, really nice. Um, feels like it's well built. Let's see here, there's a magazine. Looks like it holds five rounds, and there are some differences. I live in the state of California, as I've mentioned in other videos. There are some differences in the type of uh, rounds that we can carry here in the states, uh, in, in this state, uh, as opposed to the rest of the states. Um, they have what are called kinetic projectiles. So let me try to open this up so we can take a look. Okay, so basically a kinetic projectile is just a hard projectile. It's not going to be um, something that explodes because um, they do have some pepper balls that... Um, have uh, substances in there that incapacitate. Um, in California, we're not allowed to have those unless you go through a special course and you're a security guard or something like that. I'm looking into that right now. But um, this is just merely uh, um, impact. Um, and uh, it uses CO2. So if you can imagine, if you've ever uh, been shot with a paintball, um, it wouldn't be very comfortable. Um, let's take a look at some of the, some of the I guess... First, the contents. Um, so the contents is the, they call this a launcher, but the is the SD launcher. Um, and then there's two, the one in the, um, one magazine in the uh, pistol right now, and then there's one extra magazine. And then there's uh, three um, tubes of five kinetic balls. Wow, it looks like they made them, oh, these are inert. See how it says a nerd on them? So these are just for practice. So there's uh, 10 kinetic balls and then um, five inerts, um, which basically are just like baby powder, not probably anything you'd want to shoot at someone because it might just make them angry, if anything. And then, of course, it comes with two of these CO2s. If you pay attention and notice, or if you can't see, these are smaller than your standard CO2s that you get for pellet guns and such. So they kind of got a niche on that. My understanding is there's an upgradable uh, uh, piece that you can put on the end of the uh, pistol and it allows you to, uh, as, as it functions as an adapter to allow you to use the larger CO2 uh, cylinders, um, giving you more capacity as well, you know, more uh, firing capacity. So let's see here. Uh, the average projectile speed, um, shot from this is about 300 feet per second so as you can imagine it would not um, be comfortable to get hit in the face with one of these so um you'd want to be careful if, if your um assailant has a firearm you probably want to do your best to get away from them um, but if it's just someone who's you know maybe you're at the atm late at night or something someone unarmed is trying to uh, attack you um it might be a good um countermeasure to uh, at least slow their attack. Um, obviously a firearm is gonna be your best case scenario, but sometimes there are cases, I have a, a daughter and, and um, I, I wouldn't wanna have 
a firearm on me at certain times. So, um, you know, it, it, it is a good option as a countermeasure. So, uh, to our knives and other things that we're showing here on on uh, King, King on Things, right? So, let's take a look at something else I purchased um, that works in conjunction um, with the firearm. I got myself, uh, and I have one of these for my CCW, or a couple of these actually, but um, it is a crossbreed holster, and this is new. They never came in bags like this. Um, but basically, um, it's an inside the waist belt, or inside the waistband, um, holster for your burner. So basically, and this is new. I haven't, obviously I took it right out of the package. So, um, so it goes straight in there. Um, and that Kydex really holds it in place. And there you go. You've got yourself uh, a nice concealable, uh, less than lethal um, countermeasure alternative there. So, um, so anyhow. Alrighty, well that's uh, kind of all I wanted to go over on that. Uh, just a little, something a little different, something uh, I'm going to start carrying as a uh, an additional countermeasure, um, and an option for me not to have a uh, full, you know, a, a actual firearm on me. So, um, and then in places where you may not be able to CCW a firearm, you you can have that. At least it's an alternative. Um, I might do a follow up video when I find out more about. Uh, the ability for in California um, to get the pepper balls. Um, but recognize in for many of you, that is an option. And that kind of makes, to me, makes the uh, countermeasure even more effective. Even if you staggered them, um, st you know, kinetic pepper ball, kinetic pepper ball, um, that at least gives you a couple of options of, uh, of um, being able to use something that, a projectile that's going to, uh, incapacitate your assailant as opposed to maybe just hurt them. So, um, something to keep in mind. As I always say, please like, comment, and subscribe. Any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section. I will do my best to get to them. As I said, I'm, I'm, for those of you who are uh, subscribers and followers, I'm doing my best to catch up. Um, I just wanted to make sure I released a new video so you guys didn't think I just disappeared off the face of the planet. Um, if there's uh, anything else or any recommendations, please put them in the comment section. Other than that, I think we're going to get back on schedule and continue to release videos once a week. All right, guys. Take care and talk to you in the next video. Bye.